fellow Drops fans, we have our first international drop of 2024 coming from the UK, Kiss the Hippo. We've got an Ethiopia Wete and Bella natural, super, super clean natural. Let's get into it. Hello fellow fans, fellow Drops fans, and coffee lovers everywhere. My name is Haley. I'm your local resident Q grader coming at you live from what once was the Pink Room Studio, what is now the Gray Room Studio, uh, in Fellow's San Francisco storefront and playground. Wanting to talk to you about a super clean and fabulous natural uh, from Kiss the Hippo today. It's an Ethiopia Wete Embella natural, but before I get into why it's so spectacular as I as I do, um, I'm gonna let you know how I am brewing it. So first things first, I'm using 20 grams of coffee in to 300 grams out. Uh, so a little bit different than my standard, uh, standard dose to yield uh, ratio. I am brewing at 208 degrees Fahrenheit and I am, have to catch up with what I'm thinking about. I did a 40 gram bloom um, for 30 seconds, broke bloom at 30 seconds, then I poured up to 150 grams. Now I am pouring up to 250 grams after I gave approximately 10 swirls of agitation. Um, not super vigorous, but also not like super gentle. Gentle. I really wanna, wanna give a little agitation to this coffee, a little bit more than I, than I typically do. Um, so like I said, about 10 swirls, not super gentle, but not super vigorous agitation. Um, pour it up to 250 grams, gonna give another 10 swirls of similar agitation. And again, that's about 10, doesn't have to be super exact. And now I'm going to pour up to 300 grams instead of 350 grams, and that's where I will finish. A um, Little bit of a different, different dose to yield ratio, as I said, so keep that in mind. Um, I'm also going to give about 10 swirls of agitation at the end. And we're looking for a, a quicker brew time on this one. I think this one's probably going to finish at round 2.30. So somewhere in between the two and three minute mark of total brew time is what we're aiming for. So somewhere between the two and three minute total brew time mark is kind of what we're aiming for with this coffee. Um, I ground at a 5.2 on Ode with SSP, which is about a 4.2 on Ode uh, Gen 2 and all other grind conversions as they pertain to our grinders are on the brew guide blog post linked in the description of this video um, It's kind of a medium course grind setting again quicker brew time um, This finished at about 240 I stopped the timer at 244 because I caught it a little bit late gonna be honest But um, as I said right in that two to three minute mark now that this coffee's finished brewing Let's talk about how it tastes. It's a lot of floral black tea, uh, bergamot too, uh, lime, like that sort of citrusiness. It's really complex and structured, super, super clean, natural coffee, like really, really clean, natural coffee. Um, and I cannot stress this enough. It's super clean. It was grown at 1950 to 2100 meters above sea level, um, in Yergachefe, Ethiopia. Um, it's a natural Ethiopia land race variety and you're gonna to wanna to drink it probably all day. Thank you so much to Kiss the Hippo for partnering with us on this phenomenal, amazingly clean natural coffee. Uh, we're really excited to feature it for Drops and we're stoked to share it with you fellow Drops fans. As always, it is easy to order from fellow Drops. All you have to do is text us back the number of bags you would like, one, two, five, a million, however many, um, and we will most likely send them to you. Can't guarantee a million, that's a lot of coffee. If you don't want coffee this week, don't text us back and we won't charge you or send you unnecessary coffee. Um, we'll just text you next week on Tuesday with another delicious curated selection. I have been and will continue to be Haley, your local resident Q grader and brew guide. Please, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just wanna talk shop about this or any coffee, let us know what's going on in the comment section. I always love hearing from you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you next week for the next Brew Guide video. Cheers.